Hello everyone, Jack here from Second Gear, and welcome yourselves back to Subnautica. So if you missed last episode, go and watch it. It is, well, the title says it all, it's the best update ever. And uh, in the last episode, we found the map, or not the map, the scanner room, if you guys remember finding the blueprints, but they weren't actually activated. So we managed to find all four of them, and we built the scanner room, and I promised you guys, I promised you, that we would actually have all the stuff ready to max it out completely. And this is it. This is all you need. After you've built the scanner room, all you need is uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, six quartz, one glass, one titanium, one gold, four silver, one battery, and eight table coral. So we're going to grab all of this. We need to make four computer chips, I'm pretty sure. I had it written down so that when we were actually out scavenging for this lovely stuff. What is it? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yep, four computer chips. So if we just hop onto here and get this done right now. So number one. Number two. I know I should have probably crafted these anyway because you've seen me do this a thousand times. But I just thought, eh, why not? Uh, I've lost track of how many we've made. Three. Okay, we need one more. Where are you? There you go. Right. And the rest of it is basically self-explanatory. So off to the scanner room for us then. Oh my god, this is such a cool update. So in this episode though, today guys, I do want to try and one, find the blood kelp biome. And two, you can see a, where is it there? A beacon called Nuke. That's the schematic for the nuclear reactor because, um, I sorry, I don't know your name and I haven't got my uh, other YouTube page up at the moment so I can't actually say what your name is obviously. Uh, but someone recommended that we made the, what is it, the nuclear reactor, which I'll probably put in this room here. Because they've changed the recipe now, it's nowhere near as simple, it's actually quite complex. And I oh know, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be fun, plus more power, I mean, come on, more power! So, number one, scanner room eight, uh, HUD chip. Streams data from scanner room to your, uh, to your HUD, so that whatever items you find on the topographical map, or the holographic topographical map, uh, will appear on your HUD when you leave your little scanner room here. So that just means that you can, fi you can find the stuff a hell of a lot easier, mainly because it tells you exactly where it is. So number one, costs one piece of gold and a computer chip. Number two is a camera drone, a controllable camera. We already have two of these, so I don't know why this is here, but we're going to get it anyway. Okay. Uh, scanner room range upgrade, so it can now scan at a greater distance, just cost one piece of quartz and a computer chip. Lovely. And finally, we have... Wait. Okay. We have the scanner room speed upgrade, which costs one piece of quartz and a computer chip. So we'll grab that too. Wait, so this camera... Hold on, hold on. Can we just use this camera whenever we want then? Huh. That's kind of weird. Right, let's chuck this one in. Wait, can we just... Right mouse button. Drag it in. Oh, come on. Oh, no, that goes on us. Okay, my bad. Right, so what does it need to go on? The signal comes off, and that goes on? Yes. Okay. So, okay, yeah, I guess that, that would make kind of a bit more sense, don't you think? So we have a camera drone. So I'm guessing that's for if we can't go deep enough, we can just send this little drone down to see if there's anything even worth having. Alright, so I think in future we're going to get another range upgrade and another speed upgrade, because we've kind of run out of stuff right now. But, uh, how do we do this again? I don't remember. Is it this? Right, change lithium. Scanning. Can we, can we not go back? I don't want you to scan for lithium anymore. Yeah, I still don't quite know exactly how this works. But, uh, hey, we can learn. So at the moment, we're seeing a couple bits of lithium. There's one bit there. Is this where we are, or is this something else? I'm not sure. Because I know there was, like, metal salvage lying around as well. Still scanning. I thought this was a speed upgrade, goddammit. There's a bit of lithium on the island as well. There's another bit there. Look, the HUD is out, has already started, so we got lithium up there. We should have lithium... Well, there's lithium there. Then there should be some... There we go, over there. That is so cool. And then there's another one over... Oh my god, this is so awesome. So I'm guessing they go away after you've actually found the lithium. Oh, hold on, let's try this little camera drone out. So can we... We can deploy it. And, th and then what? I, I don't fully understand what that thing's for, but hey, we have it now, so that's good. Are you just another one? 
Ah, uh, bollocks. We've kind of wasted stuff. So I'm guessing that's for... Because I've heard stalkers like to play with these cameras. So I'm guessing that's why you can make new ones. Just in case they get destroyed or taken or whatever. At least it only takes up one room. But we do need to go and get the nuclear reactor blueprint. Because I found the general area of where the nuclear reactor is. And uh, guys, if you're getting a bit fed up with the jittery frames... Wait, what? Oh, no. Seriously, we're out of... <laughs> Why? Alright, I think we have enough stuff to actually be able to make a power cell. If not, I'm going to cry. I am seriously going to cry. We just need creep vine cluster seeds, because I know we have, um... What is it? Some copper and what have you. I'm 100% sure we have creep vine cluster seeds. I know we do. I've seen them. Yes, we do. Okay, so we'll grab four of these. Uh, we need a bit of copper, which I'm pretty sure... Wait. Oh, I thought that was a new door for a second there. Okay. Wow, you found quite a bit of lithium now, haven't you? Alright. No copper in there. I'm oh, no. I left it on land. That's right. That's right. Plus, we need to go to land anyway, just so we can actually use the fabricator, because our cyclops is kind of running out of energy right now. Well, let's just see if this is right. Is there lithium here? Yes, there is. And it's actually, it's not like a general area. It will pinpoint it. That's so cool. All right. So we need silicon rubber. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So we can get two power cells. I don't know whether I should leave... You know what? Yeah, I think it's best to leave a spare power cell inside the seam off just in case we basically break down or run out of fuel. Right, we need two bits of copper. We do need more acid mushrooms. And, oh, God, they're back on the bloody cyclops. Of course they are. It's always on the bloody Cyclops. Right. Get off of that. We shall grab a Reginald from in here. And we'll grab a bottle of water. And yeah. Happy times. Where are you? There you are. Come here. You lovely, delicious, nutritious fish. 44 hunger. You gotta love it. Okie dokie. I still don't like this flooded area here. It's annoying as hell. Ah, uh, filtration complete. Lovely stuff. I'm just literally taking it out of here now, and that's it. I can't be bothered to keep filing it all away when it's filling lockers. It's just such a pain. Right, where's the hitbox? Because the hitbox likes to be a little bit screwy on those. Ah, uh, we came in here for acid mushrooms. That was it. Middle locker, and we need two more? Hmm. We're one shy, aren't we? We're going to be one acid mushroom shy. Bugger. Okay, no worries. We'll just make one power cell for now. It should last. Emphasis on should. If not, well, it sucks, doesn't it? Okay. Kind of sucks that it is also nighttime. One thing I did notice is that these trees are all luminescent. I never noticed these trees all, all up here to be dead. What the hell was happening? Aren't they meant to be lovely, vibrant trees like that? Or are they different? I need to pay attention more. That's what I need to do. Holy mother of God. Okay. Let's get this parasol done, and then go get our lovely blueprint down here. All right. Is there anything on me I don't need? Wait, no. We do need to cook Reginald over here. And uh, I was thinking about actually having quite a few of these scanner rooms dotted around, um, around, like, around the map. Just the immediate area. So I've started... Nope. I've started work on another recipe for another scanner room. Just so we can have one like over by the roundhouse, where normally I get all of my scrap metal from. Uh, right, let's eat you. Chuck you in. I said chuck you in. And you... We will take the propulsion cannon. We don't need the habitat builder. Actually, no. We'll keep the habitat builder on us. We can't have any of our oxygen tanks. So already we... <laughs> we're at a plus for um, storage space. Yeah, they kind of... The devs kind of change it so you can only have one oxygen tank on you. I'm pretty sure they're going to increase it over time. But just for now, you can only have one. Welcome aboard, Captain. As well as apparently, I keep forgetting to turn my lights off on my seam off, which is draining the power even more. Because it drains power now to actually produce oxygen to keep you alive underwater. It's a very nice touch. A bit of a pain in the ass considering what, what we've been used to. But still, it's okay. Right, we've got a wreckage. I'm pretty sure... Actually, no, I'm 99% sure we've already been through all, all of that. And I think there was actually a laser cutter a ball door in there. I think so, at least. Okie dokie. Right, frames, please. Don't go killing yourself now. This is not the time. This is dangerous sand shark territory, or worse, the dragons. Not to be confused with the big-ass dragon that's recently been added. But still, dangerous. 
Alright, here we go. I hope to bloody God that the recipes don't change, because that would be quite the pain. Nuclear reactor. I don't actually know how many fragments we have. This could, in fact, be our last one. Two out of four. Okay. Well, there is another one up here, so that just leaves one more. I hope this produces a lot of energy, because if so, that will give me an actual need to go back down into the uh, Grand Reef to get some more uranium. Because, I mean, that place is plentiful when it comes to uranium. Why are we moving so slowly? I swear this doesn't normally move this slow. Right, we just need one more blueprint box. I don't want to spend like half an hour looking for one damn blueprint. I want to get this damn reactor built and set up, ready to roll today. Oh, sweet be Jesus. Right, come on, uh, Seamoth. Fragment, where would you be hiding? Wait, nope. Sorry, I thought I saw one. No worries. Yeah, because having all of those scanner rooms everywhere would make it so much easier. Because I'm pretty sure it's not like just common stuff. If they can scan it within the area, you could then use that to <laughs> obviously find specific things. So if we set one up down in the Grand Reef, I'm pretty sure we would be able to actually isolate diamonds. Which, if that is true, would be incredible. Even though there's like three uses for diamonds right now. And other than that, they're completely and utterly pointless. I'm sorry, but it's true. Unfortunately, this isn't Minecraft, where literally diamonds are life. The struggle for diamonds is very real in Minecraft. Please, move a bit faster. Come on, Sea Glide, I know you can do it. There's lots of quartz here. I haven't actually upgraded our solar farm anymore, mainly because I just could not be asked with the farming for quartz or titanium, and I refuse to just port them in. Plus, I've been grinding uh, Dark Souls 3 Souls. Well, Dark Souls 3 Souls. That's a really weird sentence to say. But uh, safe to say, we're leveling up a bloody ton. And it's not like I'm going ahead of the Let's Play that we're doing. I'm literally doing a loop of the area that was just in the episode, and that's about it. Okay, I think it's probably going to be quicker if we hop in here. I miss the days when we had Subnautica at 60 frames per second. And it was nice, it was smooth, other than loading in new areas. But I'm pretty sure it's to do, it's to do with um, my computer getting a bit dusty. It needs a fan upgrade because I'm still using the stock fans on the case. So hopefully tonight, like very, very, very soon indeed, I shall be ordering a hell load of new fans from Corsair, like their Airflow Series and one SP fan, which is a static pressure, just so it can actually have a bit more of a healthier airflow. As well as I need to stay on top of like cleaning my room, like hoovering and stuff, just so that it minimalizes dust. Even though computers kind of attract dust to some vicious extent. Can we please find this damn blueprint? Like I said, I don't want to be spending all freaking day looking for this thing. Can you stop running over fish as well? It's not very nice. Especially when they're tasty Reginalds. Right, you know what? I think it's just going to be up here. It's got to be. Right, our lights were off, so I was right. Okay. Come on. We just need one more piece. It's not difficult, just throw a guy a bone over here. We're probably missing so many. Like we're just drifting past them without actually looking at the floor. Come on. Normally, I miss the days when blue you can go more than five meters without seeing another blueprint box. Other than, of course, the seam off, but still. I guess because these ones are rarer and kind of have a, well, a much more bigger impact on your game other than a sea moth. Sea moths are great and everything, but you can just get around with a sea glide, which are like 10 times easier to make when you're first starting out. Oh, there's not going to be the blueprint boxes that I need over here. It's, oh, we got one. I bet you it's going to be a sea moth upgrade console. What's the bettings? Yep, yeah, of course it is. I hate this game sometimes. Right, you're going to be another Seamoth. Ow, ram my... Who's ever died from running themselves over? Seamoth upgrade console. Shouldn't have even gotten out of my Seamoth. So you've got to be across here then. You've got to be somewhere in this vicinity. Maybe we, if we just strafe. The problem is, is that the, the terrain is constantly loading in. So you can't actually get a clear view of it. And what's the betting is this thing is going to be expensive as all kinds of hell. Like, I'm talking probably 10 plastic wingots. 
at the minimum. Oh, it's not going to be fun, especially if we've got to fuel this thing with uranium as well. So you've actually got to process them down into, like, I think you're a blueprint. I think you're a blueprint. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. We're done. We're out of here. We got all four pieces. Wait for it. That lovely shoom. What? What? Um, anyone know what just happened? That was our last blueprint, and apparently we didn't get it. Or have I been an idiot and have been looking for something that we already had? No way. We can actually build the uh, bridge upgrade, but apparently we can't at the same time. It's not fun. Uh, come on, where is this nuclear power station? Or nuclear plant, even? Come on, we're reaching the bottom now. This is getting a bit ridiculous. Nuclear reactor processes uranium into po uh, potent energy. Processing uranium. So apparently we do have it. Two titanium ingots, three lead, one lubricant. Really? Is that honestly how cheap it is? I don't think so. Hold on, let's just check our habitat builder, which is probably the thing I should have done first. No, we have got it. What is this angelic music? What the hell? This is new Subnautica. Nope, now it's going back to normal. Never mind. Belay that last comment. Okay, we need titanium. To save two trips out, I'm going to head over to Roundhouse first to grab some more titanium because we actually haven't got enough. We need 20 pieces all in all. So what is that going to be? A lot. Yep, a lot. There you go. Uh, well, if each metal salvage gives you four, then that's just going to... Yeah, we need five. I wonder if we... Actually, no, never mind. I was about to say, have we got the inventory space for it? But we do because we actually have... Or... You know what? For the sake of the video, I'm going to use some of the recipe that we actually had from our moon pool, which costs like four titanium ingots and some other stuff, simply because we haven't used or we haven't had a need to use a moon pool for quite a while now. So, eh, why not? I can just find 20 more titanium in between episodes, but for now, it serves as a means to an end. And let's bunny hop like a flying fish. Look at how high we go. <laughs> It's always fun to do. And my god, the lithium still shows up. This might have been a mistake to look for lithium. Just going to say that it might have been a mistake. Don't run me over, don't run me over, thank you. Oh my god, frames. Frames, no. Don't you sit at seven. That's what I thought. You go back up. Bloody pain in the arse. Uh, nope, we want the other locker, please. This one. Is it in this one? Yes. Right, so we need two of these. We need one piece of lubric lubricant. And what else was it? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, three bits of lead. And I'm pretty sure we can craft lead, but how do we craft lead? I think it's under basic materials. Magnesium. Oh, shut up. You took out lead. Oh, don't be dicks. Come on. Or is it under advanced? Nope, uranium. Synthetic fibers. Benzene. Electronics is not going to be under here. Seriously? You took out lead? You bastards. Really? Oh, crap. So we're just going to have to go around busting open mineral uh, mineral blocks to actually try and find some. Great. Or... Huh. Idea. Idea. Right, just bear, bear with me. This seems like a horrific idea, but bear with me. It, it is a good one. I can promise you that. Right. Let's grab these upgrades. Wait. Can I just... Please, give me my upgrades. Give me my upgrades. I am clicking the right mouse button. Give me my damn upgrades. Nope, apparently not. Can I just cancel this? You cancel. Now can I have my upgrades? Nope. I can't have them. Right, how do we... How the hell do we even use this thing? We have a little controller thing here, and we can't bloody use it. Hold on. Let's get both the cameras back in here in case it's that. Right, where... Yep, there we go. Oh my god, this thing makes such a cute noise when it moves. Okay. So, get off, get off the camera, please. So, that's camera one and two back in the dock. 
No, don't you scan for lithium. Can I choose something else other than other than lithium? Apparently not. Can I have my upgrades back? No. You suck. Alright, well there's only one course of action. Because what I was going to do was take the upgrades out. Uh, disassemble this. Then put it at the bottom of the sea. Where we can get loads of different mineral rocks to then scan. And hopefully find lead. But that doesn't look like it wants to do it for us. So, there's only one other thing I can do. And that is to use the recipe that we have half made in here. I think I already got all of the difficult stuff for it. I'm pretty sure at least. Jesus, we're never going to run out of power, are we? Never, ever. Okay, so wait. Nope, nope, nope. Off of that. We need all of this. So if all of you come with me. I think this is also including the upgrades. So we won't... I'm not even going to bother with the upgrades today. So we need three titanium. We have one and we need two computer chips. Do we have enough for two computer chips? That is the question. We got enough for one. In fact, yeah, I... Son of a... It is okay. We need to get titanium anyway. Damn it, I hate hitting a bump in the road like this. But uh, stuff's going to happen when you forget. Or if stuff you wasn't expecting happens. Okay, so we got silver ore inside you. I know that for a damn fact. Wait. Uh, yep, yep. Get in. There you go. I've still yet to find a good way to power this. I know I keep saying that you can power it via, like, the... Uh, what is it? The foundations? But I am not 100% sure on that. And I've still yet to test it. Okay, we need one piece of silver, and we need to grab a couple bits of titanium. And I'm pretty sure I have one piece of metal salvage inside our lovely Seamoth. Pretty sure it's this side. Nope, it was the other side. Of course it was. Right. Yes. Oh no, no, never mind. We only, need, we only needed uh, three, right? E yes, but we also needed a computer chip. Alright, that means I can just chuck all the excess back in the locker and then we can get down to business. I'm hoping that it can actually scan through mineral rocks and it doesn't just scan them saying there's a mineral rock here, 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 done. I hope it's not that. Right, we should be able to make a computer chip. Lovely stuff. So that means we're going to be able to get our second scan room and in turn also get a nuclear reactor. If everything goes swimmingly. If. Right, so what do we need to actually build this thing? Enamel glass, three titanium. Everything else can sod off. Quartz, in you go. Gold, enamel glass can stay. Computer chips stay. Battery can stay as well, because that could be useful. Scanner, I don't know where the hell you're going. You get back in here right now. There you go. Right. Now we need to go under the sea. I, what did you want me to do? Come on. It's just too tempting. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, down, down, down we go. Where we stop? Well, um, I'm pretty sure the depth meter can tell us. I'm hoping this works. Right, it's the Grand Reef. Normally home to exotic stuff. I wonder if they might have moved... Oh, Jesus, the frames. I wonder if they... Damn it. Don't tell me I'm going to need to put a hatch on this thing. Don't do me like this. You know what? I think I'm going to have to as well. Bugger. Oh, sweet bejesus, the frames are killing themselves one by bloody one. And there's a... Mm, there's a nuclear reactor fragment down here. I could have just come straight down. Uranium crystal. Okay, that's that's cool, I guess. We, we are going to have to have a hatch, aren't we? It's not going, going to allow us to do it the, the way I want it to. That is a cave. Yes. Right. You are a diamond. Completely and utterly useless. Uh, we've got another one over here. Because so I randomly found a piece of lead. More diamond. Great. Bloody hell. Uh, gold. Again, completely pointless. Please give me some lead. Just some lead. Gold. Nope. My god. Why did this have to happen? Gold. Again, useless. Uh, we should have another battery. Oh, wow, it actually has a little animation for switching batteries now. That's so cool. Right, we've got a piece of gold. Beautiful. Pointless, but beautiful nonetheless. You know what? I'm just going to save us time. Bear with me just one second. 
Uh, Subnautica. Lead. Because I know they've. we used to be able to make it, and now we can't. That's all I know. Right, what have we got here? The lead plate is a material used to create a radiation suit in the nuclear reactor. Lead can be found as a rare drop from limestone outcrops. Really? Really? Bollocks. And this is basalt down here. So, this... We're in the wrong bloody place. We need to go into the shallows. But even then, it's a rare drop. So, what the hell am I meant to do with this? This is some bullshit. That's what this is. Or, if I head up here, grab a piece of glass, we can actually see our base through the island. Okay, new plan. If I grab some glass, grab a piece of titanium, <clears throat> make a hatch, then put the hatch onto the scanner room in an area where I know lime scale outcrops are, which are just the little material clumps you break to get stuff, by the way, if, in case you didn't know, you're getting confused with terminology. Have I got any quartz in there? No, I do not. I'm not even going to risk it. I probably do. I don't care. Turn the light off, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. Right, two pieces of glass for the quartz. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Do we have... Yes, we do. I can just hop back into my Seamoth. Where is my Seamoth? There you are. And it's on the right pocket, isn't it? I just need one piece of titanium. One? Yes. Okay. Right. Wrong door. Yeah, apparently I can't actually put a ladder down here, so that kind of sucks. There's a few bugs. Granted, there's more. There's been more bugs since the update, but by God, it's a good update. I can't complain. It is just a. It's a lovely game. I love it. No matter how much it infuriates me, I still love it. Ah. Right. I have all this gold, and no use for it. Nope. You don't need gold. Gold. Go bye bye. And the diamonds. Screw the diamonds. Right. Titanium. Yes. One piece for hatch, one piece for hatch, yes and yes. Can we go? Probably not, but still, we are. Get food, get water, oh my dear god. And then, my family always say to me, if you hate Subnautico so much because they hear me raging when something bad happens or whatever, and they always do the stupid thing of, why do you still play it? Because it's freaking amazing. If life gets you down, why don't you kill yourself? Why? Because life is great. There you go. Same concept. I hate Dark Souls with every atom of my being, but I love it all the same. It is just swings and roundabouts, unless you're just one of those destructive gamers who cannot help but destroy anything the second they get a little bit pissed off. Then we get a problem. But for the most part, people can rage all they want, as long as they don't go full hulk and start smashing up their house, then it's fine. Video games cause violence. No bullshit mechanics cause violence. That's what you get there. Hold on, let me just parry your attack in Dark Souls. What? It reverse parried and ran me through and I'm dead? I've lost 18,000 souls? Yes, we're back to the 18,000 souls thing if you watch our uh, Dark Souls 3 Let's Play. If you don't and you enjoy Dark Souls, Check it out, our Pyromancer is a monster. Especially after the episode I recorded today, he is... Mmm. He is just finger-licking good. Do not take that the wrong way. I meant he is incredibly powerful, and he looks like a goddamn badass. Nothing sexual to do with it. Okay? Okay. Right. We have a lot of salt, a lot of quartz. Now, if we find a lot of limestone clumps, which is most likely a possibility. Is this the right area to do this in? You know what? I'll put it between this biome and this biome. So if I can just hop out here. Please, I hope this thing doesn't like cra uh, crash or crack under pressure. Right, so if I chuck you down here and just let you build away, please work how I want you to. I beg of you. Right. We need two pieces of titanium, don't we? So can I not put a hatch on this thing? Can I actually not? Are you serious? Don't be a dick. Wait, wait. There we go. Okay, we need one piece of titanium, correct? Alright, well, let's start breaking... This is salt. No, we don't want you. Come on, give me one piece. Nope, that's gold. Come on, titanium. All the times I've ever wanted titanium, you are going to give me one piece of titanium. Just one bit. 
It's, it's not a lot. Silver. This is going to go on for a titanium. There we go. Right, right, let's go. Let's get this show under on the way. Just please. Please find me some lead. I beg of you. I don't ask for a lot, game. I just... Please get off that menu as well. I just wish to build a nuclear reactor that's... I know. I know that, 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 that. No, I know. How the fuck are you meant to power this thing if it's away from your home, you jackass? Oh, I'm an idiot. I know. I know. Bollocks. Utter horse crap. Alright, we're doing this by hand then. Bloody hell. Are you kidding? You forgot. You you did this all to get more power. And you forgot to bring power to power the thing you need to power to get more power. Do you see what I'm getting at here? Limestone outcrop. Titanium. Please, we need two more pieces of lead. I know I already have a piece at home. Oh, this is... <laughs> all I can say is I'm sorry. <laughs> Bloody... Hell, and I bet those scanner rooms. Of course. What else? Of course, it's going to be bloody oxygen. If we don't manage to find lead, I'm just going to have to obviously find it in between episodes and then have the reactor ready to roll the second we're back. I can't even pick these up and use it in a fabricator. I can pick them up, don't get me wrong. But other than that, I can't do anything. Whole fragment. Let me guess. It's going to give me two pieces of titanium. Yes. Okay, then. If we can find two pieces of quar quartz, we can build one solar panel. Hey, it's better than nothing. I've right, got more. And on the way, we will just bust as many. Lead. Okay, we need one more piece of lead. Come on. All right. Screw the map room. One lead. One lead. Can I get one lead? One lead. Copper. I'll take you because you're copper. Oh, we got another one. We got a fresh one. Titanium, no. Copper, no. Bioreactor. Yes. Okay. Right, we already have that blueprint, apparently. And again, we know how glitchy this game can be for blueprints. It's wiped our propulsion cannon more than one occasion. Copper, come on, give me one lead. Give me one lead, I beg of you. Don't make me look like a fool at the nearly end of the... Of our episode, please. I beg of you. I know, I am such an ass. This is a sand shark. Oh, they're named now. That's cool. At least we know what we're getting now. Apparently, you can also get a rabbit. Lead, yes! Why did I put away the sea glider? Get out of here. Just get back to the sea moth, get back home, and everything will be okay. And everyone can forget this. I hope to frickin' bejeebus we have lead at home. I know I picked up one piece of lead. I know, I've, I know I didn't get that copper. I don't care. We have lead. We're going home. That's it. That's all that matters. Now, our inventory, kind of full. So, there we go. That should be enough room in order to pick this up. Because I'm not leaving it here. Nope. Please deconstruct. Why won't you deconstruct? Oh, my bad. you got to take off. Portion. Yep. 30 seconds of oxygen okay, remaining. now get rid of you. Please, I beg of you, never bring up the fact that I put a uh, scanner room down thinking that I'm all smart on a way to find lead to actually... Oh, there's a reef back. To actually get a damn nuclear reactor. All to figure out that I didn't even have power to the stupid thing. Let's not ever bring that up. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Hopefully, this nuclear reactor is pretty good, though. Apparently, well, not apparently. According to the description, it produces 150 energy a minute. And at the moment, I'm pretty sure our solar panels give us 10 every, like, 10 seconds. So it is more than double, I guess. But it is just another means of power, which is lovely. Okay, come on. Just let me get home. Home. Now, where, oh, where do you think an idiot like me would have put the lead that he got randomly? 
Oh, I'm such an ass. I never cease to amaze myself. And I'm sh the last thing that could have happened there is if I ran myself over, died, and lost the lead. That would have been like the nail in the coffin right there. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. All right, let's get this done. Do 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 do. Not in the hair. In here. Nope, no, no. Not in there. So it's in here now. But it'll it. I'm right. Okay. Right. Chuck all of this. Anything we don't need, just get out, please. Ah, oh, bugger. Where did I leave the lubricant and all of that stuff? I know that's a haha, -ha, that's what she said kind of thing. No, no, no. Not today, people. Right, we have one. Ingot is in here. No. Why do I do this to myself? Honest to God. Right, power. Nope. Titanium ingot, one out of two. Are you in you? No. We've already checked you. I don't know. We've already checked this one too. Wait, there's more stuff. We put it back on the Cyclops, didn't we? I grow tired of my idiocy. As much as you guys probably are as well. Yeah. It's alright. It is okay. If I can learn how to climb ladders, though, that could be kind of useful. That was the worst thing about Spyro. You know, Spyro the Purple Dragon, lovable lovable character, ended up being voiced by Elijah Wood. Welcome up yeah. Series granted died when Sparks got a voice. Yeah, that was kind of annoying having to... There we go. Having to learn how to climb frickin' ladder. Right, we can build it. Let's go. Let's go right now. No, 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 no. Uranium. There you go. That should be enough. Oh, sweet but bloody Jesus. Right. Bottom room. Let's do this. Let's get her done, boys. Lovely. What the hell is this? <laughs> you bloody idiot. Oh my god. So, um... I don't think this is the thing we're meant to do, because I've seen the design for the new power reactor, the new nuclear reactor. It is not this. This is something else. I think there are two separate machines, one to process the uranium, and one to make the power. Guess what one we got? Yeah, we got the one that, pro that processes uranium. So let's dump this here, and let's have a look at this thing. You see, this is not what I thought it was. This is some bullshit. We need disinfected water. Wow. Oh my god. So guys, um, I'm incredibly incredibly busy for probably the next uh, three days into our next episode. So uh, basically I'm going to be ramming my head into the wall until the stupid falls out or I die. Whichever one comes first. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to end off the episode here. If you still did enjoy my ludicrous embarrassing failure of this episode. <laughs> uh, be sure to drop a like on the video as well as let me know how much of an ass I am down in the comment section below if you feel so inclined to or if you're having a bad day and you just want to laugh at someone feel free. But also normally when we do have a successful episode it is pretty damn good so if that is the kind of content you do enjoy to watch uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already it only takes two seconds and makes me stupidly happy. As well as you get to keep up to date with all of our uploads whenever I do upload. Which, if you are new here, I upload three videos a day, seven days a week, and seven ongoing series. It's freaking fantastic, and I very much enjoy making content for you guys. When it doesn't go like this. Like, seriously. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and until next time, I shall see you all later.